So you gained $800 in four days. Then the next day, guess what? That 1200 is hitting. Then the next day, the 1200. Then the next day, the 1200. Then the next day, the 1200. But here's what's really cool. If you think about it, you don't need a marketing budget because you could take that $800 with those first two clients, the net that you made of the first two clients, that covers your next eight days of ad spend. And then what happens the next day? The 1500 that you're, or the, another 1200 that hits, you can take that same 1200 and apply that. So now that's another 12 days of ads. So now you're at 20 days of ads and then all the rest of the money that comes in, it's just pure profit for you. And so now you're able to profit immediately upon closing someone. In this video, I want to walk through how we at Gym Launch, our company has scaled to over $100 million in revenue over the last six years, as well as the exact model that we teach our gym owners to scale to over $100,000 a month like clockwork. This is the exact same model we use. It's what we practice on a day-to-day -day basis. It's what our gym owners use consistently in order to grow and scale. And it is very simple. It's called client finance acquisition. And it is a brand new model, at least for some gym owners, it's a brand new model that maybe you've never heard of and you're not sure about, but I wanna walk through it with you in just a second. But the first thing that I'd actually rather start with are the two broken models. So we get some context into why those don't work and why client finance acquisition is a better business model, a better acquisition model so that you can profitably acquire clients at scale. And it's why our gym owners are able to grow so quickly and how you can just simply take this same framework and utilize it inside of your business and grow and scale to over hundred thousand dollars. Let's look at the actual broken models here. So when we're looking at this, I'm going to do two different ones. Um, number one would be the organic model. Um, so I'm just going to put number one here in red. So model number one is the organic model, meaning you're not running paid ads. We see a lot of gym owners that come in and talk to us. They're not running ads for pretty much two reasons. One reason is they've heard from other people that they don't believe ads work. They just don't believe it's going to work for them and that they're going to get a lot of low quality leads and they're not going to be able to sell people all this stuff. The second reason is they've tried ads in the past and they have not worked for them. And the reason most likely they haven't worked is because they don't have the right offer in place, the right model. And so they feel burned and they don't want to go back to that. Let's walk through this. Number one is organic. So here's the deal. Industry averages, this is at best 10% of clients refer. And so if you're not running ads, you're typically relying on referral clients or just organic website leads. Okay. So let's create a scenario here, which to be clear is way better than the average gym that we talk to. And just as a heads up over the last six years, we've talked to over 33,000 gym owners. We've talked to a lot of people, collect a lot of data. We ask a lot of different questions. We gather a lot of numbers. Let's create the scenario here. So this gym, hypothetical gym has a hundred members. Let's say 10% of their members refer someone in a given month. So they get 10 referrals. Now those referrals actually have to show up in order to close them. Industry average is actually 40% of actual referrals close because a referral is you get a name and a number. 40% typically close, meaning they still have to show up and you still have to close them. Let's just say you're fantastic. We're in this model. This gym is fantastic. They get six people to show and they close them and they close these individuals into directly into membership at $150 per month. Then on top of that, they also got four website sales, which means they got a decent amount of leads from their website. And these people actually happen to walk through the door because the average gym that we talked to, it really does not have the lead nurture systems in place. Once a website lead comes in to be able to nurture that person to actually show up. But let's just say they got this. So they closed 10 new members that month, which is great, right? They grew by 10%. This is fantastic. Smiley face, right? Here's the problem, right? We have to wait a second because there's something that we have to think about. And that is churn. Industry average average churn is 16%. You may not want to believe it. You may just be like, no, no one leaves my gym, but I'm going to challenge you if you're in that situation and you think that no one left your gym. I want you to think back if you have not grown in two, three, six months, a year, two years, and you've basically kind of been in the same place. I want you to take a step back and I want you to think about this. And I want you to look at how many clients on average do you add per month? Let's say it's 10. And if you haven't grown in six months, then you're losing 10 people. You're getting people, they're losing. And remember, if people move, if people stop paying you, all that stuff, that's still churn. And so it's just a reality. An industry average is actually 16%. But let's say this scenario, you're awesome. This gym is amazing and they're at 10%, which means that if you have 100 members at 10% churn, that means you lost 10 members in that same month of time. So you gained 10 members and lost 10. So basically you're here. You started with 100, you got 10 new members, you lost 10 members and you finished at 100. And so you're in this rat race. Right. And so you're on this hamster wheel of never being able to move forward. You're like, yeah, we got 10 new people. But then you look at your bank account and your client count at the end of the month and no one's there. Right. And so this is what we face when we talk to a lot of gym owners. And this is a real problem for a lot of gym owners. And there is a better way. But let's look at option number two. So option number two is the seven day free pass. This is something that's very prevalent right now in a lot of offers. We've tested it multiple times for us. Let's walk through this scenario. So the scenario is not anywhere near what actual industry averages are. But again, I'm going to be playing the devil's advocate and say that this 
this gym that's doing this in this model is crushing it. Okay, so a thousand dollar a month ad spend. So they spend a thousand dollars in that month on ads, which our gym owners typically are spending three thousand dollars a month, but that's because they get five to seven to one returns in cash collected in the month. But let's say thousand dollars a month, they get a hundred leads. So that's ten dollars a lead, which is again well below average for this type of offer because it's just not a sexy offer. And let's say thirty people redeem it. So thirty percent of the leads actually redeem that pass and actually walk in the door, which is again well above industry average. And then 15% of those 30 people convert in that month, which is astounding. That is way above actual industry average. Industry average is actually below 10%. But let's just say this is amazing. 50% of those people join the gym. They're now at $150 a month. So you now have 15 new clients, 15 new EFTs as we call them, paying $150 a month, which means you added $2,250, so $2,250 a month in EFT revenue. That's reoccurring revenue. That's amazing. You're thinking, this is awesome. Yay, I'm super stoked. But hold up. We still have to talk about churn. So let's use the same scenario. You have 100 members, 10% churn. You only lost 10 people. Again, you're thinking, great. I started with 100 people. I got 15 new people. I lost 10. So I finished at 105. Yay, this is amazing, right? I am net positive. I've got five new people and I'm gonna be earning that new EFT money in the next 30 days. But there's a problem. And everything is gravy and awesome until we look at our cash flow. And this is where the problems begin to start. So let's look at this. Let's look at the actual numbers on the cash flow. So you spent a thousand dollars on ads and you lost fifteen hundred dollars in reoccurring revenue. That's ten members paying one hundred and fifty dollars a month. That's fifteen hundred dollars in lost reoccurring revenue, which means you lost twenty five hundred dollars in the month. You gained fifteen new members at twenty two fifty. Right here at fifteen at one hundred fifty dollars a month, you gained twenty two fifty, which means that you net lost $250. So at the end of the month, your bank account is actually less, even though you added more members. The reason why this is not a sustainable model is because of cash flow. And smaller gyms, if you're a boutique fitness facility, you do not have the cash flow waiting in the coffers in the bank accounts that a lot of bigger firms do, right? So a lot of bigger franchises and things like LA Fitness or like Planet Fitness and all these others, they're backed by PE money and they have the ability to wait for their lifetime value of the client to kick in. They can lose money for five to six months knowing that long-term over the course of the time, they're going to win. But if you're in a scenario where you're a boutique fitness facility, you don't have that time. And so this is why the numbers don't work and it's why it's a broken model. So those are two scenarios. Let's look at a better model. So this is called client finance acquisition. This is what we use and it's very simple. Number one, you need to have a high ticket front end product. We suggest charging $599 to $1,000 depending on the length of time. So we found that six week challenges at $599 or eight week challenges at $997 are the highest performing. And so we have gym owners closing at 50, 60, 70% on cold traffic of people that have never heard of them. They clicked on an ad, they opted in, they were nurtured into the facility, they show up and 50 to 70% of those people, depending on the skill set of the owner, are closing directly into these offers. So let's look at how this works. The whole concept of client finance acquisition though is point number two on here, is you need to make more money on front end sales than you do on lead costs and ads. Plus you need to also make sure you have enough money for a profit, which means that number three, you never need a marketing budget ever again. In the other scenario before, you need a marketing budget because you lost money. So the next month when you went to go back to try to make money on this, and I'll flip back to this real quick, if you lost $250, that means the next month your ad spend is now 750, which means you get less people. And then churn kicks in again because you have more people and if churn percentage stays the same, you also lost 11 now instead of 10. It's just this vicious cycle that keeps gyms in the same spot. So how do we fix it? Client finance acquisition. Here's an example of how this works. And we see this day in, day out with our clients. So let's say day one, you spend $100 on ads. You get 10 leads. So same lead cost as the seven day free trial. You get sales of 20% of those leads to close. So you get five people to show up and you close two. So you close at 40%. You're not that great yet. You still need to get better. That means at $600 a piece, you made $1,200 that day. But let's be realistic because I want to be very realistic. As a former gym owner myself, we work with thousands of gym owners. I want to be very realistic. That money has not hit your account yet because you collect the $1,200 unless they pay you in cash, that money's not in your account because you have credit card processing and it's gonna take a couple days. So technically you're out, you're negative $100 right now because of your ad spend. But let's go day two. You do the exact same thing. Now you're out $200, the money has still not hit your account. Day three, you're out $300, money still hasn't hit your account. Which by the way, you're not really out the money because Facebook has, they'll charge you when you've hit a certain amount. So like you could hit $900 and then they charge you. But either way, day four, this is where it gets fun. And this is where you never need a marketing budget again. This is why our clients are able to 
to scale so fast and why we're able to get gyms from wherever they are making less than $20,000 a month to over $100,000 per month really quickly. And that is day four, the money hits your account. And so you're doing the same thing. So by now you've actually signed up by the end of day four, you've signed up eight new clients at $600, but the money from day one hits your account, that $1,200 hits your account and you've spent 400. So you're net 800. So you gained $800 in four days. Then the next day, guess what? That 1200 is hitting. Then the next day, the 1200, then the next day, the 1200, then the next day, the 1200. But here's, what's really cool. If you think about it, you don't need a marketing budget because you could take that $800 that those first two clients, the net that you made of the first two clients that covers your next eight days of ad spend. And then what happens the next day, the 1500 that you're, or the another 1200 that hits, you can take that same 1200 and apply that. So now that's another 12 days of ads. So now you're at 20 days of ads and then all the rest of the money that comes in, it's just pure profit for you. And so now you're able to profit immediately upon closing someone. And this is how we do it. It's very simple. As we go through this, uh, we have more videos on how tactically you can do this, like the offers, how to create an irresistible offer, all this stuff on our YouTube channel. So you're watching this. The only request I have is if you find this valuable, we've created an entire download of all of these frameworks right here. It's called the seven money models that we use to scale gyms to over $100,000 a month, like clockwork you can get it for free in the description of this video. You can click the link, download it for free. It's my free gift to you. Uh, just use it, use it wisely, implement it, and then reach more people, change more lives, make more money. And as always, if you find this stuff valuable and you like it, go ahead, click the button to subscribe and hit that like button. I'll see you guys on the next video.